Hey everyone, it's Diane here at the greenhouse. I wanted to videotape this beautiful fall miscanthus flame grass. Right now it is just gorgeous. It's putting on a show for fall. As you can see the blades are turning golden yellows to red. And this is kind of, this is my one of my favorite grasses freshly for fall. I'm just going to let you view that a little bit. Isn't that something? They don't get very tall but they're just they put on a show in front of these zebra grasses uh, they just and they're multiplying a little bit every year I believe they're a four to five footer uh, it's just a guess and I just wanted to share that with you today because it's pretty rare you know to find these beautiful gems in your garden And also got lots of cats around here today helping me out. Hey, what you doing, Calvin? Hi. But anyway, I just wanted to show that to you. Look at the beautiful plumes. It's just wonderful. This is a perennial in our area. I believe it's a zone four to nine. Don't quote me on that, but I'm believing that's the hardiness of it. We we'll get really close to the blades here. You can see the coloring. I did a video on this last year, but honestly, I'm thinking it's putting on more of a show this year than it did last year, and it's probably it's just probably the weather, you know, and it's and it's gotten a little bigger. So this is the miscanthus flame grass. Wonderful stuff. Take care, guys and gals. Bye. Hey everyone, it's Diane. Today I'm going to do something a little different. I'm in my office and have met some really great uh, people that are in the gardening, that do gardening videos and also cooking videos and how-to videos, uh, you name it, prepping videos. And there's just, you know, I've learned so much from people and I've been inspired from by people, you know, that are doing some different things that I never really, really would have thought of. So today... I want to give a shout out it's going to Jerry at Backyard Homesteaders channel, Self Sufficient Living. And he's got a great channel. He's getting started up here. I also want you to uh, check out his uh, website at backyardhomesteader.com because he is trying to collect free seeds and give them to the people in need. And I'm going to go to his website right now and go under help us help others and I think this was really neat he says he's trying to build up a seed bank to, and need your help we offer seeds for free to those in need and are trying to build up our seed bank for the coming season if you have any seeds that you are not using we would greatly appreciate them or if you can plant an extra row of veggies in your garden to help those in need that would be great also okay and it kind of tells you where to send the seeds if you guys got any seeds that you're not using and you like to share with Jerry, uh, get a hold of him, okay?